Dear ladies and gentlemen, teachers, parents, alumni members of St. Margaret Secondary School, and friends, my name is Rachel Sunset and I'm the president of St. Margaret Secondary School Student Council 2021-2022. My name is Sandra Lim and I'm the president of St. Margaret Secondary School Student Council 2022-2023. In 2022, we celebrate the 180th year of the founding of our school. We have put together this online virtual concert and family activity box specially for you. This online virtual concert has its theme aligned to Mrs. Maria Dyer's legacy of love and service to the community. And it will be told through the tale of Father Karius and his two daughters, Aline and Zena. This is our first time putting together an online virtual concert. And we really hope that you will enjoy it with your loved ones. We have included some exciting activities that you can do as a family while watching the online virtual concert. The items required for these interactive segments of the online virtual concert can be found in the family activity box. We hope that you will enjoy and be engaged as you participate in the online virtual concert with the accompanying interactive elements. Without further ado, St. Margaret Secondary School presents The, the Daughters, Daughters of Caris. Kind as always. I'm just glad to be part of the family business. Mind you, business has been good. I hear father's opening a new branch of Carrie's Bakery down at Greenwood. Oh, Greenwood's a lovely neighborhood. Lots of old folks like myself there with their grandchildren. They'll surely love our chocolate tarts and black forest cake. Greenwood sounds like a good opportunity to meet some new customers and try some new recipes. I have a salted caramel sponge finger recipe I want to try. Salted caramel? You know the old Bradman wants to keep things traditional. It's our specialty. You're right. Father likes keeping things the same. Black forest cake, chocolate tarts, jam sponge fingers. But a touch of modern flavour would be good for business. It would really bring Carrie's bakeries to greater heights. And more customers. That would really make your father happy, I suppose. Yes, I suppose. Can you believe this party? No alcohol at all. Just fluffy pink cupcakes with fluffy pink icing, all made by my fluffy older sister. And some boring old people. Your father sure knows a lot of important people, Tana. Look, there's the mayor and his wife over there. Who cares? Father's so well esteemed, so respectable, so generous, that he attracts all these boring townspeople like flags. It's my future. Making fluffy nothings for boring people in a town in the middle of nowhere. Hey, I'll have you know I'm super interesting. I have interesting hobbies. Really? Like what? Bungee jumping? Scuba diving? Stamp collecting? Sheesh! This town is so stuffy, I'm gasping for air. Nobody ever does anything fun or interesting. You're right, though. My parents are so traditional. They just want me to work hard in school, get a good job, be a nice boy, get married, and have two children. I don't really want that. So, what do you want? I'd like to travel for a while before I stop down anywhere. Like, I want to go to Italy. See the sights? It's a custom. Go track in Italian boys? Mamma mia! I want to go to the US. Go on a road trip to all the major cities. New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles. Take a selfie with the Statue of Liberty. That sounds amazing! What about you, Zana? What would you want to do if you didn't have to bake your life away? Well, first, I'd have to get as far away as possible from my stuffy father and his bakeries. Then, I'd travel the world, try new things, have an adventure. I never work a day in my life ever again. That sounds great. Too bad our parents would never let us spend their money like that. Huh, well, you never know. And your business is doing very well now. All those new bakery branches opening up? Well, I'm thankful that the bakeries are doing well. 
I'm very fortunate to have my employees, my friends and supporters, and my daughters, of course. You know, I find it so amazing that you managed to be so successful and raise two daughters, all by yourself. Well, I'm really quite proud of them. Arlene is always so helpful and capable. And Zena, she takes after her mother. Always a dreamer with a big heart. <laughs> oh, I've seen the company your daughter Zana keeps. I don't think she was very fun. Hey, you remember those rascals? I never do well. <laughs> well, that's rather unfair of you to say. But Arlene is always helping you out with the babies. So obedient and hardworking. At least you have someone to handle all the basics to one day. Yes, being the future boss of Karen's babies is very eligible. Well, you know, my husband's brother's taekwondo teacher has a son who's just graduating university. He's going to become a lawyer. Would um, he be interested in having a, you know, one on one with Uh, I feel you to excuse me. I must attend to my guest. My fellow Tamil, neighbors, relatives, and friends. Thank you all for attending my humble birthday celebration this year. I am very happy to be able to celebrate all of you, especially my two daughters. I would like to also raise a glass to my daily departed wife, Susanna Harris. To Susanna Harris! Thank you.
So let me now do the same for you. So in that case, I would like you to put me in charge of the Greenwood branch of Terry's bakeries that will be opening. I will take care of everything and make it a success. And you won't have to worry about anything. Is that really what you want? Then yes, I'll do that for you. Such a filial daughter, making sure that the family business keeps going and a father can live a comfortable life. But Greenwood is very far away from here. She's going to have to move halfway across the country. It's so sweet that she's going to inconvenience herself. For oh, father's sake! Zena, what would you ask of me? Father, give me my share of the inheritance. <gasps> Does this mean she wishes her father dead? What a terrible insult to poor old Harris! Oh, I've always said that Dada was no good. Such an ungrateful child, after all he has done for her. If that is what you want, then I will do it. Remember, you can always come back home. Well, here. It will take some time to find a new house. Great! If you don't mind me asking, boss, why did you do that? You know what she's like. One day, Turin, when you have children, you will understand. Well, it's likely I'll never understand.
morning with me. Wow, you mean it? Sure. What's mine is yours. So, where do you want to go first? I can't believe it. Venice, here I come. No way. First stop has got to be Paris. <laughs> to help to Burj Khalifa. You know what? I think the first stop should be a five-star hotel. Let's live in luxury for a little while. The Burj Al Arab is consistently ranked as the world's most luxurious hotel. Dubai, here we come! I'm still working on something. Well, can't it wait? Ever since we had to start doing online deliveries, the ordering system has been all over the place. I'm trying to get the system sorted out so next week it won't be such a rush. Alright, just don't stay out too late. I know you're stressed about keeping things afloat in the middle of a pandemic. Plus, we have to keep connected to our customers on Instagram, so I've also got to create content to advertise our new pistachio and lemon brownies. But you don't have to push yourself so hard. You may feel very really worried. He'll be fine and I'm not stressed. Whatever you say. Have a good night, Arlene. You too, stay safe. Yeah, what's up? Arlene, are you on the way home yet? Not yet. I've got a few things to do before I close up. Molly just left. Arlene, I wanted to talk about something. Yeah? You know your sister went travelling just before the pandemic broke out and she hasn't been in contact for a while. I was wondering if she's contacted you? No. Oh, well, it's just, you know your sister. It's her first time living overseas on her own. 
What if something happens to her? What if she gets COVID? Don't worry about her, Dad. She's probably fine. Yes, but she what? can take care of herself. Perhaps you're right. How about you? How are you doing? You've been working late for weeks now. We might be central, but surely things aren't so busy? That's precisely why I'm out so much. Everyone's going into online deliveries to stay in business. We have to keep up with the times, keep an online presence. And I was thinking, how about we do some volunteer deliveries to the needy people in the neighboring clubs? I think that would be good for exposure and to serve others at the same time. That's a good idea. What if we... Sure, I'll talk to some charities tomorrow and see if we can get something started. Arlene, come home soon, okay? Don't worry about me, Dad. I'll get home after I finish up here. Got to go. So you're just going to leave me? Here? Sorry, I don't have enough money to get home myself. Flight tickets are expensive. Don't forget to see from London. Oh, yeah, can I have that back? Yeah, I bought that! You there what's mine. So we're just taking our share of it. And we took from Paris. Oh yes, that jacket. You said I could have that! Changed my mind. Come on guys, after all the time we've had together, could one of you at least help me out? Sorry, but we didn't have to just be stranded in the middle of a foreign country, in the middle of a pandemic. We've got to go home before there are no flights left. But I haven't paid the hotel yet! Well, you're the one who wants to Figure that out by yourself. Quick, we're going to miss our next Wait, week. guys! Um, excuse me, miss, but I believe the bill has not been paid in over three days. Will you be paying by cash or credit card? I'm sorry. I don't have any money. Well, that is unfortunate. I suppose I'll have to call the police. No! Wait. Can I? Would you let me work to pay it off? That depends. Do you have any experience doing hotel work? Cleaning? Cooking? Well... No. I am just a girl for you then. You can start by taking out all this trash. Oh. <laughs> From my room? From all the rooms on this floor and the next floor. And after you're finished, you may head to the kitchen for dishwashing. We are a little bit short-handed here. Oh, and before that, you may head to the men's restroom to help clean up. The customers, they have, you know, thrown up after their dinner. Oh, ew. Well, chop chop, I don't have all day. Bread is what keeps us alive. I never thought I would miss bread so much. Uh-uh-uh, those are for the hotel customers. These are for you. What is it? It smells like wet rat. Actually, I don't know. All I know that I spit off the bottom of the chef's saucepan. Or probably the bottom of a shoe. Bon appetit. Wait! How long do I have to work for you to pay this off? Well, depending on the bill and the quality of your work, I'd say about three months. Oh.
Pardon your asking. Okay, what about dear father? I was foolish, disrespectful, and I seek your forgiveness. I would like to humbly ask your pardon. Please let me work for you at Karis Bakeries so that I can pay you back the money you gave me.
as she is, both my daughters. Would you both to be home with me so we can celebrate our name? My daughter, would you please come home? We hope that you have enjoyed the online virtual concert with your loved ones. To learn more about the amazing life of Mrs. Maria Dyer and her great love for St. Margaret's, please click the link in the description box down below. And to find out more about St. Margaret's Secondary School and the exciting things that we do in school, you may wish to check our corporate video too. Once again, I'm Rachel Sanson. And I'm Sandra Lin. And here at St. Margaret's, we want to always let our light shine. Thank you and God bless you.